CB Rivals, baby. Definitely check out the CB Rivals Discord as well. Definitely take this link and send it to the bank. Um, definitely a, a very nice tournament by CB here. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and see what goes down, what happens here. Kick back off my battle music. It's like good because it happens, ladies and gentlemen. It happens. All right. So the team is loading back up. Unicom's looking the same. Defense being taken here again by the, for the first round by Triarchy. Attack being taken by PG, the Pond Guard team. Looking dangerous as always. Uh, Unicom's are interesting to say the least again. Um, someone noted Imp Archers last time. I don't see Imp Archers here. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scouting, I'm scanning. I'm scanning, I'm touching my screen to double check. No Imp Archers on the map as of right now. Uh, Opti saying a go Aspen Tree. Optimistic, handsome as always. Can I get a pog in the chat for Aspen Tree? Uh, we'll have to see what goes down here, what happens. As a reminder, there's a five minute delay, ladies and gentlemen. Do exclamation point delay for you guys don't know. I see you guys are just seeing the delay now. All right, the match is now kicked off. Everything's good to go. All right, all right. The Wolf Boys, very interesting strap by Yuki Hide. I have to see how that plays out, what happens here, and uh, what goes down. A very interesting Unicomps. Uh, Flames being, again, the same units becomes being brought out by both teams. Have to see how it plays out, ladies and gentlemen. Have to see how it plays out. Um, looks like a lot of us already predicted for... Uh, Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, all right. So as we go, I'm going to go put this in slow mode to start. Looks like it's going to be a hard A push. couple guys rotating B-side right away. Critical and Aspen Tree taking the B-side approach, but it does look like Triarchy is in position, ready to go. Good to go. To, good, good, good to set there. Uh, Triarchy also taking a wall-side advantage here, watching walls. Gates being slightly pressured, gap being pressured as well. The main push is definitely going to be on the A-side for both teams. Um, it looks like a handful of players really watching B for Triarchy. Honestly, at this point in time, Pongard does have numbers advantage on the A-side gate. We'll have to see how that works out for them uh, in the long run here. Uh, this is going to be a very challenging map for both sides. Uh, we'll really have to see how this plays out. Without Falcos in the mix, though, uh, defense do have an advantage, I think. But that, that's my personal opinion. Others may disagree with that. Um, I do think that uh, Pongard is definitely going to take its time here. Probably play it slow. Dealer for life clapping out. Uh, OG, OG must there for a quick kill. Uh, putting them on cooldown. 15v14 situation. Six, like one, two, three, four guys. Five guys still on Triarchy side for B. And only two guys for Pondergard. Pondergard has currently got 13 guys on A side to uh, nine guys on A side for Triarchy. Um, Trev's coming in pretty hot. It does not look like Triarchy's really uh, dodging those Trev's or even trying to bob and weave them. Pongard is taking it slow, playing it easy, knowing there's going to be a nice kill box right there. Probably going to use their Trev's and go for the advantage here. Um, We'll have to see how this works out. SKW and Sledgeman taking the charger. Gilcho and Takedown and Seg taking the central approach. They're going to cut them off completely. They're taking a flanking play. At this point in time, Triarchy is getting surrounded on both sides. This could be a big play for Pongard. Flames going off on both angles. Triarchy has five guys still on B-side fighting two. It is a hard A push right now by Pongard. Can Triarchy get done? Cap coming in from the central approach here. The kill bus is being slaughtered right now by Triarchy. Pongard is going in hard right now. A preemptive trap coming in central. It's not going to be there in time to anti that cap. Slight anti. Pongard high advantage here on A. Triarchy not able to respond. Still five guys B-side for Triarchy. They are in full retreat right now from A. A will be decisively taken by Pongard right away here. Um, Flames going off hard here. Flames really destroyed that kill box right there by Pongard. Really nice push by Pongard there. Uh, I think it caught Triarchy, Triarchy hard off guard there for sure. That's uh, really unfortunate for Triarchy. Uh, A side, they're not wasting any time. They're going for a B-side play and also a C-side play at the same time. Prioritizing B for the spawn point. Um... It does look like they are flanking around. They're going to, wow, this is actually a really good play right here by Pond Guard. Chalky setting up for C. Looks like they're going to give B right away. Not even worrying about B. They're going to give C right away here. Um, they're going to give B right away here and go for C. Really nice play here by Pond Guard so far. Uh, B being taken decisively for free. Uh, and it looks like Chalky on full retreat, taking their unit comes back to Seaside Point.
Very nice play here. Very nice play here by Pondguard. Um, taking B for free here. It looks like the team is slow approach here. Triarch is still getting set up on the kill box. Trying to build another kill box by the tab left here on the tab left side. See, tab right has kind of been completely ignored by both teams. Yeah, it looks like tab left being tab right being completely ignored by both teams. Both teams have kill boxes set up on tab left side. Um, dark side approach coming in hot for uh, Pond Guard here. I think it's a, I think that's a healthy strat considering the kill box with no RD. It's gonna be very hard to push that tab left side. They're gonna do a split push here and they're doing a nice rotation here. Pond Guard really looking healthy right now. I think that one hour delay might have given them a nice uh, a nice warm up here. Tarak are responding very healthily here. They are watching the flank, looking for the play. And a nice trap coming by Reb there if that lands. That's going to be a juicy trap, or it should be, perhaps te technically. Uh, it, unfortunately, RNG is not on her side. It's just not her day. And only gets a handful of kills. Actually, that does that does, that does, does, that, that does do decent damage. Sorry, excuse my stuttering there. I apologize, guys. Um, very interesting play so far. Tab right being taken. They're taking a slow approach here. They realize they got time to take C. Nice kill box set up by Triarch here. They realize their rotations have to be tight and form formative if they want to take on Pond Guard here. Um, we'll have to see how it goes down here. Looks like Pond Guard's going to go for a hard tab right. Go for those hard tab right supplies. Cut off the throat of uh, Triarchy here. Uh, Triarchy taking back B side supply, but it doesn't really matter at this point. There's no real point in taking that at this point in time. Um, Pond Guard's completely messed on the tab right side. Tab left's being completely ignored. Uh, Triarchy is kind of right in the middle of that trap. That should be a decent trap. Jang Nan can move a really nice trap right there. Um, take down Gilcho and SKW taking the, the uh, forward approach here on the tab right side. Sorry, guys. I just Z'd out on accident. Apologize. Things very touchy. Uh, a nice altercation here on the tab right side. Getting in close for the action. A crit 6-9 on the front lines in a 5v2 a 5v scenario with takedown. Asher 5v3 scenario with Jang Nan takedown. Jang Nan actually running away. C4, big Mr. Billy Dean, the boys, coming from the north side. Flanking in those Florida Broncos. Nice trap there. Um, south side, 4 PG will be defend will be uh, destroyed, though. Charlie handling south side, then rotating up for north side here. Uh, cutting off east and north. They're going to cut from two sides, but they are pretty set up in the alleyway right there. Uh, PG needs has an uphill advantage here. Flames need to get in there and start killing the, knocking down that kill box. Uh, and their flank is completely secure right now. What Triarchy needs here is he's got to respawn with Cap and come and fight from the north, but they just don't have it right now. Um, it looks like PG is willing to trade here pretty decisively. Heroes still in play for Triarchy with no units, though. Um, units are going to be a factor here, and uh, Pongard is looking pretty healthy with their unit comp. Right now, it looks like Pongard is decisively winning the unit battle. Um, it looks like Triarchy has already lost 650 units to only Pongard's 216. PG really playing well. They really came to play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Triarchy did say they did not like this map too much. It's very open, and they're not really about it. Um, but the, it, it does look like Pond Guard is definitely uh, uh, dominating at this point in time on the attack. Uh, at this point, it does look like a decisive W for Pond Guard. We'll have to see. I'm predicting right now. I really don't know. Uh, Triarchy could make a big play on home, and that could be where they keep it together and hold it down. Um, based off this unit comp, though, I mean, the unit comp is still kind of there. Surfs are not going to really do it. They're starting to lean on units. Imp imp archers, Surfs, really not going to do it for them. Um, and it looks like Pongard's unit comp is heavily Reaper favored and Monastic favored with a couple of Senjis and Flames mixed in and one set of PGs. Um, very healthy right now for PG in terms of unit composition here. They're pushing in hard. They're taking, giving no time for Triarchy to breathe. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. They're really just pressing W on their keyboard right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I really have to say it's looking very, very healthy right now for PG. We'll have to see how it goes down. Uh, Triarchy putting up a valiant effort to hold it down. They are trying to get the units back in the fight. Hussar's coming in from the tab right side. 4 PG, making a nice little clear right there. Siki taken down. Siki getting taken down, though. Siki is down. Uh, a nice tra These traps are pretty on point right now, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty impressed with this trap. Whoever's calling this right now, 4 PG is doing a really nice job. Um, it does look like uh, Triarchy will get a central walk off on it. The flames there in position with the 4 Brachio combination. Uh, that's deadly. One short start getting an OG Moss going for the flames and 4 Brachios. Can he get it done? Senji's in the back line covering. They have to get those four, those flames down or it's over. Um, right now, based off the... Oh, no. It's definitely... It's definitely uh, unit comp is definitely not there right now for Triarchy. They are down quadruple the units at this point in time. Um, Empargy's in the back. Not really doing too much. It, it is what it is. Um, it's definitely over. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've, you've seen it here first. It, it is definitely over. Um, very, very healthy plays by uh, PG there. Triarchy definitely, I think, got surprised on that A-side push. Really nice gap in central push. Very, very well coordinated with a nice follow-up. Um, Trebs were very on point as well. Those Trebs were game-changing for multiple times. Um, I think the Flames were also very game-changing uh, for Mr. Billy D. He really kind of won the exchanges with those Flames. And the Florida Brocky with the Senji combination was definitely a very healthy combo. Um, unit comp was definitely there. Um, whoever planned this out definitely planned it to a T. They definitely practiced. Uh, Triarchy definitely had a hard time in that fight. Uh, very nice try by Triarchy, though. Very, very big respect for them. Um, yeah, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Very decisive dub there for, uh, for, uh, PG here. 
Let me just DM them real quick. Very nice matchup real quick. SKW walking with an MVP. Rob and Reb look brave of it. Honestly, Reb probably should have got MVP there. She, she did work. But SK is also a top tier player. Probably Musket. A very interesting class for SKW. Uh, what? By five minutes live, guys, by the way. If I don't say hello to you right away. Uh, but I see bumping the check of the Seabird looking good as always. Uh, NASA Denner. It looks like Banana the Menzo taking away MVP here for Triarchy. They put a valiant, valiant, valiant effort. I think they just got outplayed a little bit and just outgamed. But they couldn't come back. We'll see on this attack. See what happens. Um, based on the post-battle analysis here, guys, I mean, this is it. I mean, this this play on A here was game-changing. It was literally, uh, it was literally just game-changing right there.